Hey guys, Bam Weather, meteorologist Brett Waltz here. Today we're going to talk about some of the most rare cloud types that you can see. If you catch these, take a photo fast. It may be a while before you see them again. First one we call Mamanus clouds. They usually form an association with large cumulonimbus clouds associated with thunderstorms. Typically what happens is turbulence within the cumulonimbus cloud will cause the mamatis to form, especially on the underside of the anvil. The anvil is the part of the cumulonimbus cloud that hits the tropopause and spreads out in all directions. Then what you get is rapidly descending motion to the lower levels. This actually reverses the usual cloud forming process of upward growth making for the uneven cloud base that you see. Mamatis clouds generally form in the most unstable cumulonimbus, meaning that there is a high chance of hail, heavy rain, and lightning in the vicinity when you see these clouds. Sometimes they do form within other clouds, such as alto cumulus, but it is very rare. The next one that I wanna talk about are called Kelvin Helmholtz clouds, named after a scientist who discovered this type of fluid motion. These are extremely rare. They produce a wave pattern like you might expect to see with breaking ocean waves. They occur when there is strong vertical wind shear between two streams of air, causing winds to blow faster at the upper levels than the lower levels. These clouds most often occur on windy days and are good indicators of aircraft turbulence, but they're fleeting. So if you see them, catch a picture quick. You'll probably miss them if you don't. Last but not least are lenticular clouds. These clouds are shaped like an upside down plate, or sometimes they're called flying saucers. They're actually one of the culprits of many UFO sightings across the US because they are similar to what a flying saucer may look like. They're considered wave clouds. They form when moist, stable air blows across hills and mountains from the same direction at different heights throughout the troposphere. Lenticular clouds are visible signs of waves in the air, especially associated with terrain like mountains. You can even get multiple layers stack on top of each other. They are most common with large terrain features such as mountains, but can rarely occur on smaller hills or even buildings, like one of the pictures that are shown here in New Albany, Indiana. 